going on my super sandwiches i'm still here today bring some more dragon ball super card openings and i mentioned it's actually a, a, my last opening i want to hunt first of all the tournament power box is incredibly rare right now it's like almost impossible to find if you find it they literally sell it for like 140 bucks normally a booster box with a drama super card game costs like 60 70 ish in that neighborhood you might be able to get it for like 50 or 40 if you get a good deal but for the most part that shows you the average price of a box this box right here right now retails for about 140 bucks and the main reason why is because there is a, a secret rare version of goku in here that's extremely playable in the game if you get the card by itself you can sell it for like 300 bucks like raw not graded that's it 300 bucks mostly because it's playable uh, i don't think it's more like a value thing i mean it is very very rare so that also helps but mostly because it's like a really really powerful card if they ever replace that card or they reprint it the value will absolutely crash but for now as a collector and because i love the art of it i want to pull it so i decided i'm gonna buy two boxes i got one more on, on the way oh one more on the way the second one oh one right here and the second one is on the way there that one and if you guys are interested i'm gonna do like a uh i guess a hunt for the scr goku series um so yeah i'm gonna need a lot of feedback for you guys if you guys want to see that so if you enjoy seeing these kind of videos thumbs up right now and we'll we'll just make the best out of it so i went ahead and already opened this box just so i don't have to like struggle with the actual opening and just like always we're gonna do um you know just one side first and the other side in the next part if i pull the card i'm not gonna leave it in the title i think just just for the soul uh soul aspect of uh you know i want to be able to just keep it more mysterious let's move this camera over here to me make it more mysterious i'm just going to kind of open it and see what happens and if i happen to pull it you won't have a ch you, you'll have no idea that it's going to be popped um you know it's funny i should probably open this box first before i um before i started uh you know buying a second box because for all i know i could pull it inside this box and then that second box is like well i guess that box is just there you know what we'll do is how about this if i do end up pulling it uh, maybe I could do that second box like a giveaway or something. I don't really know. Now I don't know how playable these cards are anymore. These older ones. First one is going to be fire. Wait, no, but just a rare piccolo. Look at the old hollow pattern on these. They're, they're so like disgusting. They look so gross. The hollow patterns in the rares look a lot better now nowadays. Um, but as I was saying, uh, what was I saying? Something about if I do pull it. If I do pull it, I probably maybe I can I don't know give the other box away or something. We'll we'll figure that out down the line, but. Uh, it's also very, really, really, really rare to pull it. I think it's like a one in um, six booster box. Oh, one in a, one in a case chance to get an SCR. That's one in six booster boxes. So if you happen to find one and happy that box, congrats. If not, it's gonna be really hard to get. But as far as playability, as like I said, I don't know how playable these cards are anymore. If you do play the game, hey SRR Bergamo. If you do play the game, let me know in the comment section below uh, how the tournament power cards have aged. Because again, obviously the the SCR Goku is still good. The Ultra Instinct one, uh, like I said, it's good enough to the point where it's 300 bucks. It is by far the most valuable driving card out there right now, including the, even the older cards from way, way back in the day. To be fair, those older cards never really went up in value like that. But like these especially, hey, look at that. These especially are just so much more uh, valuable when it comes down to that card than ever before for the Dragon Ball card game. But again, there, there's no collector aspect yet or collector market set up yet for Dragon Ball Super Cards. Uh, right now, the only reason why a card will be that high in price is due to the fact that it's just really, really playable. Rare Ultra Instinct. Oh, not Ultra Instinct. Um, Kaioken Blue Goku. Fantastic. These packs suck right now. Uh, something else that's going to be cool about this box is they have those signed cards. They're not, they're not like actually signed. We're, the art has the signatures of the characters next to it. Um, even those are pretty valuable. I think the most valuable by far is the Ultra Instinct Goku, uh, the SPR one, uh, followed by Vegeta followed by golden freezer and then i think beers is on the bottom just because he's probably not playable I, that's funny because that beers is one of my favorite cards that they released in this game so far i remember when this set came out i solely hunted for that and I actually ended up pulling uh i think i pulled the golden freezer in a box and then i just bought the beers at the time uh and the value for that beer is definitely went down i think i bought the beers for like i want to say 60 bucks and now it sells for like 40 but again there's no collector value set up yet so all you have when it comes down to uh, the rarity aspect of these cards is just basically if there's like the small batch of people like myself that would pay for a great version of a card. But it doesn't matter because I got it as a PSA 10, so I'm good. Loser. Krillin! These suck! Come on, give me something good! Um, but yeah, I, I have no idea if we'll ever get to the point with the Drama Super Card game where the value will just be there for... Did that only get rare so far? I, I basically did. I mean, who cares about Bergamo? I'm also probably not going to put the price stuff for these cards unless I get a major hit, because there's just no point. Most of these will be worth like 50 cents to a dollar max. But I'll do some research, of course, after the video as well, after I'm done recording. Uh, and if something it gets pulled, it's pretty decent. 
then I'll put it on the screen. Also, you guys can tell me if I pull something good. So, you know, you guys are going to be my eyes and ears for this as well. But mostly, like I said, this entire series is going to be based around trying to pull either one of the four SPRs in the set or the big goal will be the SCR Goku, which will be absolutely hype. Uh, ooh, holographic Kale. Kale used to be really, really expensive in the game. And then a rare Slim Boo. Great. Kale used to be a really, really expensive card. Not this one. It was a different one. Uh, I think at the time when she first came out, she was like a $40 card. That's wild. A $40 card. You know, it kind of blows my mind that the... I mean, I saw a lot of graded cards pop up for the Dragon Ball Super card game, but it has not really quite taken off yet. And it kind of surprised me because the arts for these are awesome. Even this is like... Well, I'm not going to see Rebriannis because I don't like Rebriannis. Look at this! This is awesome! This is good art! Like, I feel like if... If the uh, Dragon Ball Super collector market for a card game would ever come out, it should be with these cards. We'll see what happens over the course of the future years. But as of right now, the game is just very, very popular as far as playability. Um, so you probably won't see anything super crazy for at least, like, maybe two years. Bam! <sighs> cool. Awesome. I regret buying this box. Spent like 120 bucks, 130 bucks. I don't know how much I got it for. So we're in the neighborhood for this box just to get crap. Just to get crap. But again... It's going to be a fun series, so again, if you guys are interested in seeing the hunt for it, and potentially the hype moment, if and when it happens, then hit that thumbs up, and uh, I'll definitely um, try to get more of these boxes in the future. Although, I should probably wait until I get that box first, the second one is coming, and then open that, and then from there, see if I want to order more. Or for all you know, I might pull the SCR right now, and then it's like, well, great, fantastic. Uh, if that happens, I probably might not even open the second half of the box, to be honest. I might just do it for giveaways. SR Vegeta. Universe same Prince Vegeta. Finally, SR. Good God. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how, how it goes over the course of the future, you know? And, uh, yeah, but I think it'll be a fun little series. So, you guys can let me know if you guys want to see something like that on the channel. Also, potentially, we can even get a God Pack. Like, I think I think that Dragon Super card game is hell slept on as far as openings. Because I feel like the thing is... is is you have to be able to relate to content to kind of understand it. And I feel like a lot of you guys just don't care about the card game because, like, you don't play it. Other than seeing the cool pictures, he's up! Um, it's like there's really nothing much that you can get out of these car opening videos. Oh! SR Jiren! Hey, look at that! At least I'm getting some SRs finally. But uh, I feel like uh, until something hype happens, these videos are kind of like, meh. But that's why I said, uh, if I do pull that SCR Goku, you won't know. You won't know based on the title. You have to sit there and watch. And don't timestamp it either if it happens. For this one, do not timestamp it. Someone's still gonna do it. Do not timestamp it. Let's keep the let's keep the mystery and fun with it. Uh, that way, I guess I can't really stop that from happening, to be honest. But please don't timestamp it. Let's say that if I do pull the card, don't timestamp it. Let people enjoy the the journey of it, and we'll see what happens over the course of the future of the series. Jiren, the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, at any point, if you want to also pause. Ooh, that's a holographic. Um, he may Jimmy's. He may. I don't know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> And then a rare Frieza. Fantastic. At least we got another hollow common. Or uncommon, actually, in this situation. But yeah. Down to the last three packs. But yeah, what I was also going to say was, if you do want to pause the video at any point when I'm scrolling through these cards. Because I've already opened them and they're basically, like I said, not that playable anymore. I'm not going to sit there and just try to, like, you know, um, focus on what the cards do. So you can pause it for yourself and see what they do if you are a player of the game. How do you guys actually play the game? Let me know down below. Because I know a lot of my friends, like Big Shot to D Free... And Shady, they both actually go out to their locals and they play this game at like card shops. And like I said, I say this like almost every single video, I would love to do that, but like the closest card shop from, for me is like miles away. <sighs> you know what I love pulling? An SR Rebrian. Literally nobody. I think even when the set came out, everybody was like, nah, I'm gonna Rebrian. Can someone tell me who plays the game? Does this even do anything good? When a card evolves into this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. That sounds actually pretty good. When, when this card attacks, if Kakunza and Rosie are in play, are in play in your battle area, she has the two cards from your opponent's hand. That sounds actually pretty good. I feel like was she playable? Let me know if she was. I still feel like because I just dislike Ribrian so much that even if she was really playable and I played a card game, I just wouldn't play her. I mean, that, that's the story of my life. I usually avoid playing uh, the most optimal way in every single game I ever touch, just because like I feel like I don't know. I play I play with the characters I like, you know, and what what's more fun to me, and that's probably why. Kettle, Universe Representative 7, yada yada yada, Bergamo. I think we're gonna get something. Fire in this one. Wait, in this one. No, wow, just Kakunza. We're here talking about how much I don't like Re Brienne and I pull her squad. Fantastic. Alright, final pack. We'll just be the one. We'll just be the one. Are we gonna be, are we about to get blessed here in a second? 
Are we going to get blessed here in a second? Um, and walk away with some fire. If not, there's always part two, which I'll probably upload later this week. We'll see how it goes as far as scheduling. But again, if you guys think this will be a fun series, and because I'm probably going to go until I pull it. Or until at least I can't get any more boxes. Because like I said, these are like really, really hard to get. So I'm doing this mostly for you guys. Also for myself as well, because I love to get that card. But it's going to be a final series. Final card! <laughs> Ugh, that sucks! Okay, well, you know what? That's a fail. That first video is a fail. Nothing really good here. I mean, there might be something good. I don't know how playable these cards are nowadays. Uh, this is like, what, two sets ago, three sets ago now? So if you do play the game, feel free to let me know if there's anything decent as far as playability. And I most likely will not timestamp, uh, well, not timestamp, but stamp the prices for these just because they're so old that it just, they're, they're not that valuable, to be honest. I mean, I'll double check in case I'm wrong on that. But if you don't see the, uh, the prices for the cards, th that's why. And I know people usually be like, we still want to see it. I'm like, dude, it's like mostly like 40 cents. It takes more effort to just, you know, type them all out uh, in certain situations. However, if you do pull something good, then it's kind of neat to know like, hey, wow, that's like a $50 card. Are you kidding me for a piece of paper? That's that's the story of card games. That's the story of card game. All right, so that's the first set. Again, if you want to see part two, hit that thumbs up. And based on how much interaction that these videos bring, I'm going to upload, uh, well, I'm going to still upload part two because I already started the box. But the second box that's on its way is going to be solely uh, decided on whether or not you guys care about this as a serious idea. Um, so hit that thumbs up on this one and part two. Otherwise, I just know not to do it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you guys in part two. Peace.